Hi everyone, I'm filming an update to let you know that my cushions for the bow bunk have no more mold. I did what was suggested, I did what I found online and I was able to get rid of the mold which makes me so happy. It saves me literally thousands of Trinidad Tobago dollars, so like a couple hundred US. So I'm very very stoked about this. I'm gonna go show you guys what the uh, cushions look like right now, so let's go see them. I wasn't far into this process when I realized that there was a bit of mold on almost each one of these cushions. I then tried to remedy the situation using lots of vinegar. After spraying lots of vinegar and leaving it in the sun, it still didn't look too good. As you can see, the vinegar and sunshine thing didn't really work, possibly because we didn't have that much sunshine or because, I don't know. I'm going to try one more time and if it doesn't work, then I guess I'm gonna have to get new cushions, but... Before that though, I've got something for so you. So some of these things, for example, this item on my wish list, it is available down here in Trinidad, however, it's of course, well, a little bit pricey. It's not manufactured down here, obviously. And on Amazon, when I order from Amazon, how I've set up the wish list is that it goes to a, um, like a handler in Florida, and then it gets shipped to me. So in the end, I do end up still like paying some shipping, but everything works out about like a third of the cost. So this was about like a hundred US and I had to pay, um, I had to pay about just over 50 US, just around 50 US to get it cleared in like and all that but it still really works out for me it's a lot cheaper this way than it was if i were to buy it and i'm extremely thankful for the support so i'm just undoing the tape it was opened when it came into trinda the package you know just so that the uh customs and all that could see what's inside and i know i have a knife to do this but I don't know why, it's inside. <laughs> so I'm just using my hands. It's like Christmas! So actually this one was sent by Bajima Buddha. Merci! Boku. I'm so excited! Oh my goodness! <gasps> Pop! Oh no, <laughs> this is the time where it just like pops, in, it just fills into the, to the bubble next to it so you can't pop it. What do you think? I'm experimenting with no background music this video. Let me know. Bonjour Maboda, merci beaucoup. <laughs> Thank you. Back to the task at hand. Here you can see me setting up two dampered moisture absorbers which I'm going to place in the boat. The first is for the bow cabin and the second for the galley. Once it was set up all I had to do was leave it there and it did its work on its own. Now that we got this out of the way doing its thing let's talk about the cushions. They are four of them. Today I'm actually going to bleach all of them over again and put them back out into the sun just to be sure, you know? Let me show you what they look like. So this is the best looking one. You can kind of see the way it, um, the bleach drain down. But other than that, it, they're just spots and it doesn't look as if there's any new mold or mildew or anything. Across here, it's kind of the same thing, but you can tell that this one didn't get as much bleach on it the last time. So, gonna deal with that today. And I just have one more to take out from in there. I took this from home. The last sprayer didn't survive very well. Yes, mom, it was empty first. <laughs> and I just added bleach and water to it. Now, I hope that because this was literally made for bleach, that this spray us holds up a little better than the last one let's go
I maintain my position that a more effective sprayer would be more useful, but this works. And this is what the bow looks like right now. Not the most attractive thing, but hopefully effective. In the meanwhile though, we can look at these two um, moisture absorbers that I had. You also when I placed them. Um, so this one was in the galley just across there and this one was under the um, bunk in the bow cabin and how it works is that this like substance which comes like little balls um, it absorbs the moisture in the air and then in the bottom of the container there's a little catchment so I'll show you the one from the galley first so there you go underneath right there you could see the level of the liquid in it so the level of the water what was absorbed is not like it's a good amount but compared to this one which was in the cabin and actually fell over one day about it was at about this height and it fell over and so in reality it's about twice as much hair so i'm glad that this is working i'm just gonna have to get the refills to pour back inside of here so it can continue working so again the first step real quickly i sprayed down all of the affected areas with pure vinegar and i laid it out in the sun next i mixed bleach and water the ratio was like one part bleach to like eight parts water somewhere around there and I um once again sprayed it down laid it out in the sun let it dry and in the meanwhile I started using these damp red um moisture absorbers in the boat I left them in there for about three weeks, which is what it took for the damper to completely melt out the the um, absorbent bits at the top. These are actually on my Amazon wish list, so if you would like to purchase some more and send them to me, or I would see if I can get the um the refillable bits to, <laughs> that you just put into the top. I would see if I could get that and put that on the wish list, so you could send me that if you'd like. Uh, they worked really well in absorbing moisture like <laughs> the evidence is there and that's moisture which would have been absorbed by the cushions otherwise so well, at least part of it and it would have just made the mildew problem worse See, after about two weeks I did the whole process again I sprayed with vinegar and then I sprayed with um, bleach and water and uh, put it back out in the sun a couple of days I came down here I didn't really spray anything on it just lay them out in the sun and it works so this is what you got to do all right so we're in the bow cabin right now this is the starboard cushion and the port cushion and you may rec recall and i'll try to insert a picture here but there was pretty much bad mold up here now it looks a little bit bizarre but that's only because of the bleach in some areas the bleach was a little bit too tough so it um created like a little pit where it made contact but other than that the mold that was on this before is gone so these two are safe um the mold and mildew that's what i mean same hair as well i guess i missed this spot up here with the bleach when i was going over just um just to get rid of these stains but uh the mold has not this has now been like maybe three weeks and the mildew has not returned so that's the first two and same story it looks a little bit bizarre because the of where the bleach was but it is all good not a sign of mildew there and as i said that makes me real happy um so these are going to be in these blue covers anyway so you're not going to be able to see like this discoloration here once they are away and across here this is the last one, the huge piece, and for the bow itself. But when I did the second spray, I didn't do anything to this piece. So I just did it again a couple minutes ago. That's why I have the cloth there, because 
it's soaking up like whatever bleach falls down but um yeah this was sprayed no mildew ever came back the stains i now sprayed with bleach and as you can see well bleach and water as you can see they're gone and you can just compare down here which is where the i didn't spray with bleach what it looked like before and this area didn't really have mildew it was just i guess fumes and that sort of stuff here and up here which is areas that had mildew now it's completely clear uh all right let's go see how much water got collected inside the boat i would say though um that Whenever I come to the boat and it's been like a couple of days, it's been a week or so, and I open the companion way up there, it's just like, oh my goodness, like moist, hot air just rushes up at me. And I'd say that it was worse before. It's not as bad, but it's still like shocking. Um, <laughs> it's still shocking whenever it happens. But yeah, it's, I suppose it's just like gets condensed or something. Anyway, yeah, so if you are trying to fix a mildew problem with your cushions, this was the video for you. This is the video for you. Okay, so here we have my same two dampered refillable containers, which I put in a couple weeks ago. Um, I put one in the galley and one in the bow cabin, which is where I had the mildew problem, the bow cabin. And... This is what the tops look like right now. Almost all of the, I could open it up. Almost all of the sorbent thing is gone. And that, that one has a bit more, but you could see in the one that was in the bow cabin, it is almost non-existent. Like look, it's almost all gone. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this bare-handed. Yikes. Right, so I'm just gonna take these out and Rest them for a moment in the sink and then show you all. Yeah, the sink is still gross. Sorry, I don't eat there, I just wash things out there so it stays a little bit gross. Alright, so this was what was in the bow cabin. And as I said in an earlier video, this fell over. So, just I have huge hands, so this actually is not an accurate help at all. But look at the amount of moisture that it took out of the air in there it's like well over an inch it's maybe an inch and a half and then in the one that was in the galley this as well took out a considerable amount of water say just over an inch but this would have been like two inches there was a lot of water in it when it fell over the last time about like half inch so I would say that these are super useful because they certainly do eliminate excess, they like trap excess moisture. That is correct. Eliminate musty odors. Yeah, but I think, I mean, part of it is because this is the unscented one, like, fre okay, fresh scent. And yes, I would agree. And creates fresher, cleaner air. Well, I suppose so. If it's getting all the yucky stuff, excess moisture out. I think it did a great job. I'm just gonna rest these back in here. Yeah, right now all of the stores that I could get the replacement stuff at is closed because due to the state of emergency here, um, pretty much everything that is like kind of essential but not absolutely essential is closing at 1 p.m. and it's now after two. So that was the wrap up for getting the mold and slash mildew. There's more mildew than mold, but yeah, out of the cushions in my bow cabin. I'm so happy, as I said, so happy that I don't have to spend any money to get all of that, like, <laughs> remade because of mildew damage. Oh, this ad just always makes me so happy. Thanks, Gabriel. Perfect commission. So I'm focusing on preventative measures now, which include opening up the cabin almost every day slash as often as possible um if i'm not down here as well as i don't feel the need to keep these in the bow cabin where they're all crammed together and there isn't much ventilation if they don't need to be there so once i'm not on board i'm keeping them out of the covers and i'm just gonna keep them in the cockpit so that they there's like air around them um it takes 10 minutes 10 15 minutes 
to get them all into the covers and into the bags into the um bunk and compared to like having them in an environment that basically promotes the growth of mildew when they all like stuffed in the bell cabin together i think it's worthwhile the 15 minutes each time to put them in is worthwhile for me hooray that's one more thing off of my list i was stoked to get this off and in a very inexpensive manner of course there are like five more things that i discovered and had to add but it's all good many thanks to my patrons juliana b and ron b as well as to my supporters who purchase things from the Amazon wishlist, Benj, Russell, Diana, and Ron. Thanks, folks.